Okay, so, Filmora just did something crazy. Filmora 15 is finally here, and trust me, this update is absolutely insane. I found four features that will literally change how you edit. No fluff, no boring tutorials, just cool effects you can start using today. So let's jump straight in and create some next-level edits together. First up, and honestly, this is already my favorite, Smart Cutout 2.0. The old version was pretty good, but 2.0? They literally gave it superpowers. You know that nightmare of masking hair in After Effects, where you're basically doing surgery with a mouse for 30 minutes? Yeah, that's over. Like, see, I've created this using Smart Cutout. Amazing, right? Now watch this. You just click Smart Cutout, trace around your subject once, And if it messes up, you fix it in literally seconds. Click here, and Filmora's AI handles everything, even tracks movement automatically. You can also invert it by clicking here. And if you want to add stroke effects, click here on Add Border, and there are lots of presets you can use. The final result looks like you spent hours, but you didn't. With this, you can now create those smooth cutout transitions you see everywhere. Honestly, this feature alone is worth the upgrade. Okay, this next one is crazy. AI Extend. You know when your perfect clip ends too early, like you need just two more seconds? Filmora's got you covered. There's this AI Extend button here. Click it. Drag your clip longer. Type what should happen next, and the AI creates the missing footage. It literally generates new frames for you. Look at this. The result is so good. It's that smooth. It's honestly wild. All right, I'm gonna be honest, this one actually made my jaw drop. Filmora 15 now has an AI object remover, and I'm not talking about that blurry mess you get from cheap apps. This thing actually works. You can remove watermark, people in the background, logos, anything. Just select the object with smart brush or magic box, and it disappears like magic. No trace, no blur patch, nothing. I tried removing Gwen from the scene just to test it. Guys, it looked like she was never there. The quality stayed perfect. If you've ever needed to clean up unwanted things, you know how valuable this is. By the way, Gwen was not unwanted. It's honestly scary how good it is. Okay, last one. And this is the feature I've been waiting for. Filmora finally added a pen tool. And I'm not talking about some basic tool. This is basically the same pen tool as After Effects but easier to manage. Let me show you how powerful this is by creating this Batman logo reveal animation, and trust me, it's way easier than it looks. First, import your logo and any background clips you want, then grab the pen tool right here from the toolbar. Now carefully trace around your logo like this. Don't worry if it's not perfect. You can adjust every single point by clicking and dragging. See? Super flexible. Once your path is complete, this is where the magic happens. Head over to the effects panel. You've got full control over stroke color, effects, trim path, everything. Now for the animation, go to trim path right here. You'll see two options, start and end. Watch this. If I keyframe the end value at 0%, then move forward in the timeline and set it to 100%. Boom, animation is done. Play with both start and end values, add multiple keyframes, and you can create all kinds of custom reveal effects. It's honestly so satisfying to watch. But this isn't just for logos. Motion graphics, map animations, custom transitions, the creative possibilities are literally endless. Not gonna lie, this might be my favorite feature of the entire update. So yeah, Filmora 15 is easily their most impressive update yet. With powerful AI tools and faster workflows, there's something for everyone. Grab the download link in the description and try it out yourself. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.